Hi guys, this is the continuation of the games in this series I did have against Junto. In the last video I said that basically the match was very one-sided for me because I did draw the nuts and Junto on the other side did draw very poorly. So this match is a very showcase of the strength of Junto deck because it's a really strong deck so you're gonna see now. Let's just speed up a little bit the deployment phase. Mm, this time I didn't catch the Kana with the Ogre, so that's a little bit bad, but it doesn't matter too much. I don't think the deployment phase again in the mono uh, in the mono mirrors are that relevant. So everything is okay. So as you can see, I did have initiative, and I can multicast the ignite and the path of the wise. Uh, here there are arguments for any of these plays because, for example, I can multicast the Ignite here and of course I need, I can play the other here on the Venomancer to kill the... No, not really, on the Venomancer I don't think it's good because... Um, for example, my Ignite is gonna... I know, maybe it's good actually because Venomancer, because of Kana, is not gonna get a creep here, right? Because Kana is gonna summon three creeps here in the mid lane. So my ignite is gonna kill, uh, hit the Beno and the Ward, and the Ward is gonna die uh, for the hit with the, the ignite, right? So maybe that was a play. I didn't consider that play at the time because the other play is equally good, or maybe it's even better that I uh, just play the ignite on the on the CM and just uh, upkeep kill to creeps and prevent a lot of damage that way, right? So, but I didn't consider this at the time. And the other line uh, is the double part of the wise, one here and one here on the Crystal Maiden lane, because that way I can play some cards here and clear some of the dogs. Uh, the downside of the Ignite plays is, for example, he can play the, the Imperia here and start the, the run with the initiative, right? And Lightning Strike my CM. So, but in that case, Ignite plays already kills this the, this creep in the, on the left, and Imperia deploying deploying here is gonna kill his own creep. So I'm not too sad about that. Uh, what's the downside of the Ignite play? Is Kana can play the the zombie, and it's gonna turn into four two creeps, and it's gonna kill my CM. And that way, I'm not gonna keep kill anything, right? Because CM is gonna be dead. So, in, in considering that, that is maybe maybe it was better just to play the part of the wise here and here, because that way I can even if he if Maiden dies this round with the zombie play, I can deploy Prelex here and just play cards and kill the dogs with the part of the wise. So, but I don't know. Uh, you need to think in that kind of thing, but sometimes it doesn't matter actually. So, any play is fine. It's hard to tell sometimes if a place is just better than another. Sometimes it's not easy to evaluate places. Uh, and of course you can see the hand of your opponent, so... Let's see. He didn't play anything. He is trying to preserve initiative for next round to start with the peer active. And he didn't have much to play anyway, so... Normally this the, this kind of deck is keeps the first round, cause unless he drew the, the bait or, or the zombie, and doesn't have many good plays on, turn, on round one. So, I have this deployment with Prelex. I normally like to, to play Prelex here on the, the PR line. That way I can perma block this this hero here uh, with the grip spawning on the right side because the prelex passive. Mm -hmm. As you can see, Imperia did deploy here. I was expecting a lightning strike at this point, but that wasn't the case. He's gonna start with the pure active. 
Um, and you can, as you can see here, it did reveal the first fight. I was talking in the other video that this card is super important in this matchup. Because as you can see, he did reveal my Echo Slam too, so the Imperial is getting super bump. It's already hitting for 16. So he did uh, discard my Frostbite because he knows I'm gonna just prevent the damage here. I'm not gonna Frostbite this hero, never, because I already talked about that the other day. Because he is just killing my CM, but CM is soaking the damage. But that, but now it's different because this creep is gonna turn into a wolf with trample. So if I did have the frostbite, I'm gonna fr frostbite the wolf after delaying one round, for example, with the Midas, and I'm gonna frostbite the dog one, and I'm gonna prevent tons of damage on my tower. Sadly, I didn't have the the frostbite because he discarded. So as you can see, my right uh, lane is super sad for me now. Because there's a 19 damage creep hitting my tower. But whatever. As you can see, my first buy was a Maida, so that was already a little bit greedy. Because uh, against Sag, normally you don't want to be greedy and you want to buy, buy HP items, that way you can survive and play your cards to clear the, the aggression. Uh, and that, this was probably one of the first. Because uh, buying the first Midas was a mistake, I think, but maybe it was okay. But buying the second one, that's terrible. I think that was game losing, probably. So, this was uh, the first uh, big mistake on my part. Probably the second one, if you consider the first Midas boss. But that's, that's questionable. So, Tuscar is here, getting blocked from the creep, so I don't care. This lane is uh, kinda even, but as you can see, I could have buy a, a, an HP item on, and put it on my Venom, because I did say before that keeping Venom alive is super important, but I'm I'm a, I'm a retard, so I'm a greedy I'm a greedy fucker. I'm buying this Midas that that, that doesn't do anything. Uh, my Venom is gonna die, right? If I did buy the, the HP item, my Venom is gonna live, and I'm gonna be happy. I did deploy the Shaker here, of course, because I can't feature here and prevent the trample damage from the Dogo. And I was hoping that he didn't draw the Diabolic Conclusion, but he did, so feature is not doing anything here, so... Uh, at least I can play my... I was expecting at this point playing the Grievous here to kill the Venomancer. And maybe I drew the frostbite and can prevent the the trample damage from the Kana here. At this point, there's no 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 use to fissure here because the script has already disarmed. So I'm just playing my Midas. Um, he play the, the mole here to remove my my path because of the trample it's gonna hit the tower so the improvement is gonna be removed uh, and my tower is only 2 HP short of falling, of falling so he can deal the 2 HP with the just reset, re, uh, resetting uh, the attack from the creep with the devourer and then turn it in, into a wolf with trample and my tower is dead round 3, so this game is re uh, going really poorly for me because uh, this lane was wrecked and my Ben is, is dead because uh, I refused to buy an HP item, so not looking too good for me. But as you can see, I can, uh, okay, I'm losing this lane, but I don't care. I can, he needs to take another tower, right? But this is the problem. I can't abandon this lane yet because there is still a 19 H a damage creep here and there's Kana and so many, so many more Dogos. So, like, as you can see, this is taking 28 damage, no, 27 damage this turn. So, I can't uh, leave this lane yet because I'm gonna lose the Ancient, right? 
So that's super, super sad for me. I'm, at this point, I'm just losing badly. I, I was thinking at this point that he's going to deploy just all heroes mid now, the two heroes, and just try to watch me here. But I think he was scared from uh, an echo slam here, losing the two heroes. But even then, I think that was the correct play, because even if I deploy the maiden here and echo mid, he's still de dealing tons of damage right lanes, right, right lanes, right? So I was exp I was uh, about to annihilate here because of course this echo is seven mana, so I was sad about that because I'm gonna lose all my four grips. But luckily, I did uh, drew the the second echo slam for six mana, so I could clear without losing my my creeps on my maiden. So at this point, I'm kind of okay. Maybe I'm not doing so bad because okay, I already lost this lane, but he's not putting that much damage this round on the mid lane, so I'm I'm okay, I think. But let's see. At least my Midas are getting getting me a lot of gold, so I already have a a solar spear. And maybe I can start pushing damage for, for my own. So at this point he's just keeping initiative for next round. So I can play this tower barrage here to kill the bear. Because why not? More gold. That way I can prevent the bones too and deny the ability. Oh, not really, I'm not denying the ability because this is going to spawn with the ability up. Yeah. But that's fine. I just get the gold. Mm. I have 26 gold. I can buy the work, but sadly I didn't get one. I was super sad about that, I think. This pipe probably was a mistake too, because there's no use to the hook and net, I should just get the gold. Mm, I was thinking here on bouncing the maiden, as you can see, but I didn't have initiative, right? So I can't play a single hero in the mid lane, because this deck runs mana short, and my, if I put a single hero here, I'm gonna get mana shorted, right? So. I need to have a caster in the mid lane, so I'm deploying both heroes mid. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. He's gonna start with the lightning strike on the maiden, I think, because that way he can deny the aura. What about my plays? Of course I can, I don't have many good plays, right? I can annihilate here, but it's just two for two, and I, I don't have a, a deploy next round, so that's terrible. So I'm, um, this Venom, Slow Venom is a terrible card, so I'm just passing, the, trying to get this tower, right? That's the better play. I can't do much otherwise with this hand, so I'm just passing. This this is the problem with Venom. This card does do do nothing, right? This uh, as you can see, this creep is one mana. The Venom Ward, and this card summon two one mana creeps for four mana. And these creeps don't even they serve as a blocker because they have feeble, so they're super low impact. He's uh, doing this thunderstorm. I'm not, I don't. I'm not. I don't care because even if he had the tower barrage, my check is leaving, so I don't care. I'm just passing. If I can manage to pass it one more time, my ogre is gonna kill the the tower, right? So I'm trying to to kill this. But I already can kill the tower, right? I can play a, a slow venom and play the hooked net here on the prelix, and I can get the tower. So at this point, I'm thinking now, ah, okay, I can I can save the venomancer now. 
because as you can see he played this to move my checker and now my two heroes here are, are dying right so I don't have any deploy for next turn so I need to save Venom to have a deploy because if I uh, don't save my my hero right and I, I, I say ah, okay I'm getting this tower so next turn I blink here I'm gonna blink and I'm gonna get a mana chart and I'm gonna install the game so I can't do that so I need to to have a deploy because I can deploy mid, I get mana chart, then I blink. Uh, of course, if he have the second mana chart, well, whatever, you won. But you need to play around this kind of thing. So uh, as, you, uh, as I was saying, I can even even with the pass and the solar can buff, I can take the tower with the soul pen. I play the 5 mana one, of course, because it's more expensive and I deny a, a reveal for the peer. Uh, and I can't finish the tower with the hook in that. At this point, I was sure he's just gonna, gonna TP and block to prevent the, the lethal to the tower. But that was okay for me because that way I, I'm gonna go, go, uh, win initiative, right? So I equip the item here on the Prelex, and he's gonna bring. Uh, at this point, I'm still thinking he's gonna try to win mid lane because these are already half HP, right? And this is full HP, and I have tons of clip there. So I'm thinking having one uh, one deploy is fine because I can just deploy this hero mid and do, for example, annihilate and delay one more turn. He blocked my ogre here. So I didn't get the tower this round, but that's okay, because I saved my banner. I'm still not buying this HP item. My heroes are super weak. Uh, having low HP heroes leaves you super vulnerable to to mana short, for example. So I think that was a mistake from my part. This game, just buying these two Midas and not buying just a little bit more of these HP items. At um, this point, I'm thinking he's gonna deploy mid right, but he's going all all right. So I have initiative, uh, and I don't I don't want to annihilate here, right? And I'm I was scared about mana short, so I need to use mana to uh, this banner to be safe, because even if I play the the cloak, it's still eight uh, HP, and I have eight mana, so it's gonna die from the from the manager, so I need to play a card. I end up playing this card, uh, play ward. So that way I have only four mana left and I'm not uh, longer on the range of the manager. Um, this was, uh, I think, the the final mistake I did make in this game, this deployment with the Venom. I needed to play this Venom here in front of the Imperia because this Venom, this Venom ward is not a prevent it's not preventing the damage, right? So this uh, tower is already super low HP. I need to prevent any point of damage I can, right? So this was a super big mistake on my part. And of course, I didn't do anything relevant at this point. Of course, he did. He did discard my. I don't know what card, but I drew the thunderstorm from that, the right cause. Otherwise, I would oh, would start with the thunderstorm this round. And not this shitty card, the the Venomwards. As you can see, he suddenly pushing pushing a lot of damage here again. So that's one of the things you need to do as Canadex. You need to uh, threat two lanes. 
even three lanes if you can but at least two because of course you can expect expect a uh, clear on one lane but that way you can focus on the other one so as you can see this 10 uh, damage i could uh, prevent that just deploying the venom here that was terrible for my part venom dying here is irrelevant because i have two two deploys and a tp here so that this was game losing. I think the game losing mistake one was buying the second Midas, even maybe the first one. I don't think so. But the second one, the second big mistake was just deploying Beno here and not here blocking the Imperia. Um, I can buy the second Solacan. I need to. I have initiative, right? And I can just uh, annihilate here, and, and I need to do that because this lane is gonna gonna die soon. So I need to take care of it. I don't have a feature yet, so. And I'm thinking, okay, this 14 damage is a lot. I, I'm I'm not afraid of losing the tower this round, so I need to annihilate here. I could have just annihilate here, but then maybe it's more it's harder to, for me to control this lane, right? Because even if something something happens here, I still can TP from the left lane, right? So I think uh, this annihilate here was correct. So let's see what happens. He uh, killed my CM. At this point, I don't care about that because CM is just doing some damage, uh, two damage, I mean. So it's nothing. And I already used the outer. So I pass, pass at this point because I'm not feeling a uh, danger in, in, in this lane at the moment. Of course, uh, something can change, but at the moment, no. So I, I'm just passing, trying to build up the damage from the Solar, solar Can Spear and trying then blinking the Ogre here and maybe the tons of damage here. So I'm just. Uh, play the Solar Can Spear here to just do some more pass and get more damage. He's one mana short of taking the tower, so at this point I just decide to just pass. That was risky because you know his Beno is hitting the tower, so it's gonna give one decay from my tower. And I'm losing this tower next round, so at this point the very light was. Uh, 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 the, ver the better result for me was a die, but at this point uh, he drew the second Diabolic Conclusion on the Toscar and is hitting the, my tower for that one, so I already lost the game. As you can see, I, I can't blink and block the try to block the Toscar because my hero have way too little HP. I think it's perfect lethal. Because this more six more damage, right? Six, six more block with this here, so I still lose the tower. Perfect. So, as you can see, I was one pass charged from taking the tower. Here, any of my cards, I uh, do anything. I, if I drew the the second frostbite this game, I I maybe I would have a chance, but I would have a chance too if I did block the Imperia here with the Venomancer, because. You know, there's that, that was 10 damage, so my tower could be on 24 HP this round, and I could have survived. So that was a big mistake on my part. So that this was a, a win for Runto. So a pretty good game, pretty close, I think. So that's it. I'm gonna do a video about the third game. Uh, so see ya.